stayed to provide the people of Alabama with an update uh, on the progress that we've made in reducing the spread of COVID-19, as well as to discuss vaccine distribution in our state. As of Tuesday, Alabama's seven-day average for new COVID-19 cases was 778 per day. You know, that's an 82% drop from the high reached on January 10th and the lowest average for daily new cases since late June. Also, the seven-day average number of COVID-19 patients in Alabama hospitals was 686, a 77% drop from the high reached on January the 11th, and the lowest average number of COVID patients in Alabama hospitals since June 29 of last year. Y'all, we are definitely uh, indication that we are moving in the right direction. And I certainly want to thank the people of Alabama once again for their tremendous help and support to get us where we are. Even with this positive news, however, Dr. Harris and I are both convinced that we need to get past Easter and hopefully allow more Alabamians to get their first shot before we take a step some other states have taken to remove the mask order altogether and lift other restrictions. Folks, we're not there yet, but goodness knows we're getting closer. <clears throat> Our new modified order will include several changes that will ease up some of our current restrictions while keeping our mask order in place for another five weeks through April 9. But let me be abundantly clear, after April the 9th, I will not keep the mask order in effect. Now, there's no question that wearing masks has been one of our greatest tools in combating the spread of the virus. That, along with practicing good hygiene and social distancing, has helped us keep more people from getting sick or worse, dying. And when we, even, even when we lift the mask order, I will continue to wear my mask while I'm around others and strongly urge my fellow citizens to use common sense and do the same thing. But at, the same, but at that time, it will become a matter of personal responsibility and not a government mandate. If businesses believe wearing masks are important to keeping their doors open, and their employees and customers safe, and y'all many do, then they'll have five weeks from today to get ready to impose their own policies. <clears throat>